All right, y'all, I'm gonna take this ball and I'm gonna show you what happens at the bottom of the swing and why muscle isn't really involved when it comes to creating the proper technique and getting your hand below the equator. Now, everybody's talking about tendons and wrist pain and this and that. Simple fact, if you're having pains and stuff, most times it's gonna be because your ball does not fit you properly because you have to squeeze and you have to do uncomfortable things to be able to even hold on to the ball. Get your ball to fit you properly and you won't have an issue. If you have tendon issues, wrist problems and stuff like that, your ball doesn't fit you most cases. Some people just have some genetic disease or something going on, deteriorating bones or whatever it may be, sure. But most people, it's because your ball just doesn't fit you. So now let me show you what you actually do and what your hand does at the bottom of the swing for that fraction of a second that can make it easier for you to understand how to do this technique. All right, y'all. So y'all want to talk about thinking of uh, getting cupped. You think you have to stay here all the way through the swing and cup. Yeah, that even bothers me. Of course, that's putting a lot of pressure on the forearm, the bicep, everything. If I'm trying to stay cupped throughout the entire swing, that is going to cause problems. You're not going to be able to do that. And of course, a woman won't be able to do it as easily as a man. We understand that. That's not the technique that you need. Your hand should just be firm in a normal release position right here, just like this. When we get to the bottom of the swing, we actually get lower the elbow bend comes into play, which allows us to get up underneath it. So basically, the weight of the ball is taken away when you do it correctly at the bottom of the swing. When the ball gets at the top of the swing, as soon as you're coming down, that's when you're lowering and your hand is then going underneath it. So the, the weight of the ball is going forward and down. And then when you lower your body at the bottom point, your hand is able to scoot right up underneath it for that fraction of a second. So it kind of looks like you're just swinging and then it's just like that. It's right at that bottom point. It's like you're just going down and you're able to, that. I don't feel any muscle at all there. I'm able to just get here and then tuck my hand up underneath it. And see how easy that is? It's swing and it's right there, just tucking underneath it because I'm getting lower. I'm allowing my body to get lower than the ball. So essentially you're dropping your body while the ball is staying up and then your arm goes up underneath it. So it's the bend of the elbow. It's here, bend of the elbow and getting underneath it. That doesn't take any strength at all. That is just simply technique. Now when you're here and when you're trying to throw your shoulder into it and you're not getting lower, so people are just staying tall or bending over at the waist this way and they're trying to throw it, of course it's gonna take a ton of wrist strength to be able to get up underneath when you're bent over like this because that's what happens. That's causing the momentum of the ball to shoot forward instead of your body getting lower. You're just jerking everything through and oh yeah, that hurts. Even when I do that, if I'm swinging and then ugh, trying to jerk it through with my shoulder, yeah, that's muscle in the forearm and the wrist and everything else. So please, for the love of everything holy, stop telling people that it takes all this strength to do the technique. It doesn't take strength to do this technique. I've got this, this person that keeps arguing with me and says they don't need to watch a video because they know. You obviously don't, and I don't want people talking about how it takes all this strength and everything because that is such a toxic thing to teach people. If they see that, they're just going to think, oh, well, I guess I can't hook the ball. I can't do these things. I can't do this. I can't do that. My hands are too small. You know, I don't have a strong enough wrist and all of this different stuff when that's just not the case. You know, and everybody wants to talk about the size of the hands. Again, that doesn't matter because you're using the weight, you're using momentum to get your hand underneath. It's about the position, it's not the size, it's not any of that stuff. Would a bigger hand make it a little easier? Sure, maybe a little bit easier, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. Again, it's not a strength thing. So please, for the love of everything, holy, stop telling everybody that it's a strength problem. It is not a strength problem. Does it take some strength? Sure but it's not more strength than any woman has. Again, I don't know a single woman. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it right here like that. I don't know a single woman whose ball fits them correctly that can't do this for a fraction of a second. Now, if you're asking them to hold it like this all the way through the swing, yeah, of course, that, yeah, like I can even feel that. Like that's straining my muscles right now. But to just go like that for a second, that's nothing. 
Any woman in the world can do that unless you've got some major problem with your hands. So please stop telling people that this is a strength problem. Okay, I'm out of here. Have fun, y'all.